Hey, welcome to Cooking with Ranger Rob. Grab your aprons and let's get started, guys. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Ranger Rob channel. And today I thought I'd show you a little thing I like to make once in a while in my Traeger. So this would be part of my Cooking with Ranger Rob series. Uh, what I wanted to do is just make some quick beef jerky because who doesn't like a little bit of munchies during watching YouTube videos. <laughs> so what I did is I went to the grocery store and I picked up some beef slices which I'll show you real quick. Look just like this. And uh, instead of using a marinade where you buy something that's really expensive, I've gotten to the point of just making my own mixes. So basically what I'll do is get a bowl like this, add about a cup of water, depending on how much meat you buy. I just bought a little. And I add a, quite a bit of salt. Um, and then uh, salt, and, uh, salt and pepper, garlic of course, and... Uh, one of the main ingredients I'm putting in this one, you can change it too, is a, this is a sweet mesquite seasoning. So I put this in kind of heavy and uh, I've let this sit overnight in the refrigerator. So these are what they look like. You've seen these in the grocery store all the time. And all I'm going to do now is cut these into smaller pieces um, and then put them in the Traeger and I put it at the lowest temperature, uh, the smoke setting, and they'll take three to four hours and you'll have a wonderful snack. Well, I'm out here with the Traeger and getting ready to fire it up. Uh, always remember, you got to give your Traeger about five minutes to get it to a burn. Uh, I'm sitting at the lowest setting, which is the smoke setting. I have a little bit of an older Traeger. And believe me, it's been a trustworthy Traeger. Anyway, uh, so I've got my meat all cut up. And I'm just going to go ahead and fire this up. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my strips on now because it's all about smoke. So uh, let's get that started. Well, as you can see, I'm starting to get smoke. Got a couple more minutes so I can hear the fire burning. Uh, like I said, I'll cook these for about, oh, an hour and a half or so, and then I'll come in and turn them over and cook them for another hour or two until I've got them as dry as I like to get them. I don't like to dry mine out too much uh, because uh, we eat them really fast. But if I was going to take them hunting or have them kept for, uh, I'd still refrigerate them. But uh, I dry them out a little more. But uh, yeah, these are so good. And so don't go buying one of those really expensive brines when you can make your own. So. Uh, can't wait. She's all fired up. I can hear the, the pot burning. We're going to close her up and let her rip. We've been cooking for about oh, an hour and a half, two hours so far. You can see everything's looking really good. And uh, so every once in a while I just come in here and keep turning stuff. And uh, this is also the chance if you got one that's really thin, they. Uh, get done a little bit sooner which means you have an extra treat uh, to tide you over till dinner <laughs> so uh, luckily these don't get too hot you can literally turn them with your fingers but they can get a little toasty so uh, oh probably another hour oh yummy another hour uh, they should be done one of the things if you ever own a Traeger and you use your pellets you always want to stir them up because you'll get these little uh, oh, 
holes where everything's dropping out and they kind of hold in place and don't feed. So it's always good to just give them a little shake, make sure they're still feeding well. And uh, it doesn't happen a lot, but when it does, you'll just notice it's like, well, how come I can't get the temperature up? It's because the pellets aren't feeding. And, uh, that happens, I think, in all the triggers. So we'll get back to you when these are done. While we're cooking, I also wanted to remind you guys to maybe get in the habit of learning how to use a dehydrator. Now you can get dehydrators, uh, like the little round ones, quite affordable. This one I spent a little bit more money on. I wanted one that could uh, make sure I could get the heat up to 160 degrees if I wanted to do jerky in this. And uh, this one is got one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Ten drawers in it, and it does a great job. I've had it for a long time, and you can control the temperatures right here. And I just recently did experiment with green beans, and uh, we're going to have these for dinner. But I wanted to dry some green beans out, and uh, and it was actually a large amount. And when I was all done, this this is what I got. Those are cut green beans, and they're just like uh, uh, you could eat them like potato chips right now um, not the best but <laughs> anyway um, it's amazing what you can do this will have a much longer shelf life and uh, if you need to uh, clear out the freezer a little bit uh, or buy a lot of frozen vegetables which are easy, you know readily available um, dry them out put them in jars vacuum seal them and you'll have uh, vegetables forever <laughs> so Anyway, let's get back to making my beef jerky. Well, we're getting to the evening now. It's about four-ish, if you want to call it evening. And uh, I think I'm pretty happy with what I see. These came out really good. And if you've noticed, some are missing. I have no idea where they went. Anyway, I'm going to pull them now. Uh, I t tend to get myself a little Tupperware for a little bit because uh, these are a little oily. And uh, I'll let them cool in here. Uh, you could cook them longer and make them drier, but like I said, these are more for like a, you know, a treat. Anyway, uh, so yeah, they're a little hot. They're very good. They're actually kind of moist, so uh, not too chewy. And uh, I forgot to tell you, if you watched the beginning of the video, I did add brown sugar to my mix, so... Uh, I don't usually do that, and when I tasted it, it's like, ah, nice little sweet touch to it. So if you want to add a little bit of sweetness to it, uh, put a little bit of brown sugar in your uh, your brain. So this is all done. Shutting this down, but in an hour, I'm going to fire this back up and do some pork chops. So a lot of people say, wow, Rob, your trigger looks well used. And the answer to that is, uh, yes, it is. We use it almost every day. Uh, uh, to take care of a Traeger, you have to vacuum them out. And I, I actually use two layers of uh, tin foil in here. Um, so when it gets too much, then uh, sometimes I'll just peel one layer off. But uh, it's getting kind of close to a cleaning, cleaning time. But hey, uh, if someone's got a clean Traeger, they're not using it enough. So guys, thank you very much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of cooking tips or cooking with Ranger Rob. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Help our channel grow. Leave your comments. Tell me what you, uh, what kind of things you do for jerky. Uh, once again, I showed you earlier, you could use a dryer. Um, works just great. So anyway, guys, have a great day. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.